Hello, welcome to Make It At Home Pottery. I'm Fiona Boy, and this is where you get to make it at home. This is a series of Halloween videos where we get to make various spooky things. I hope you enjoy them. So this next project is all about turning a ball of clay into a skull. But not just any skull, we're going to make fancy Mexican Day of the Dead, highly decorative skulls. If you've received your pack from me, this is what you'll have. You'll have three balls of clay, you will have a paintbrush, you will have a pointy stick, and you'll have some instructions. We'll talk about the paint in the painting section. Uh, you will also need uh, some water, you will also need a mat to work off. Um, I've used here an old book bag, but you could also use an old dishcloth or an old uh, pillowcase um, because it's much better to work on fabric than it is to work on newspaper. So, we've got our ball of clay. What we're going to do is break off maybe a quarter uh, and keep that for building up and otherwise use the rest of it as the main head. To break something off, the easiest thing to do is to twist. So here we have our little bits and pieces and the rest I'm going to make into a skull. So the fabulous thing about the Day of the Dead um, skulls is their beautiful colours. Uh, so this is very much, you're going to create something quite plain and then you're going to have fun with your paints and really do lovely decorations and things on it. So here's the one I've made so far. Here is my blank skull. Uh, you'll see that it's hollow inside, that it's got an upside down heart shape for a nose and it's got two big eye sockets that you can then color in and paint nicely. And then it's got those teeth, okay? So what you're wanting to do, you've got your ball of clay, you get in your thumb and you're going to go inside and get a nice big empty dome shape. So you're getting an even thickness all the way around and you're getting a slightly smaller mouth here than you've got, so it's going slightly over and in. What you want is your skull to look up in your face rather than further out, um, so you want to be able to have it slightly at an angle doing that. To start with, you need to use your hands, and you can do a little sort of karate chop to get the, the jawline created. So I did that there, and I've just done that there on this little guy. So he's got his, his jaw, or her jaw. The next thing you've got, you're going to use your thumbs and you're going to create these big eye sockets with these thumbs. Now what I find quite nice is having quite a nice crisp edge here um, where you're actually pushing it round. So you're doing that, pushing that in. So you've got then, you're just beginning to shape your eye socket and you've got that chin. And then once you've done that, you can then draw on the upside down heart and then cut it out. Right, so I've got my two basic skeleton heads, my two skulls here. I'm going to put them on the radiator and let them dry. Um, so that I can paint them in a bit. So once it's firmed up, it's now time to paint. For the air dry clay, you can use normal acrylic paints. Um, and if you want to make it shiny, you can then put varnish on top. Uh, varnish would be normal varnish, or you can get a PVA glue and mix that with water and then put them on the top. For regular clay, you would need um, my little paints the coloured slip. In all instances, regardless of what clay you're going to use, you're going to do the main colour first. So you would start painting this guy the main blue colour. Once you've done the main bit, you can then do the finer bits and pieces and you want to then do the little dots um, right at the end. Uh, you'll also see on here that I've actually then scraped off some of the patterns. So once I had done it, I then went in with my pointy stick and I scraped patterns into it as well. Ah, one thing to remember, uh, when you change colours, uh, either the slips or the acrylics, make sure that you wash your paintbrush and then squeeze the excess water out of it very well, um, so that you're not mixing the colours 
and you're not then bringing lots of extra water onto these pieces because if you get too much water on, they're going to go all soggy and collapse. One important thing, if you're doing the regular clay, don't leave it too long. Wait till it firms up, but don't wait till it's bone dry. Right, get painting. So don't forget, when you're done, take some photographs and send them through to me because I really want to see what you've made. Ta-da! <laughs>